Okay, so go ahead and give a little bit of warning here. This meal is not vegan friendly. Haha. -ha. We have a two pound chub of beef. And we're going to make really awesome hot dogs the Anderson way, the coastal way, for my daughter Lou's 14th birthday. All right, are we ready to get going? Woo! -hoo! All right, here we go. First, we have fresh ground pepper. I don't know why I prefer this type of pepper. It just makes me feel kind of cool and special. Do a little twist there. I'm not going to do too much because, in all honesty, I, I kind of did this beforehand. So, all right. Then we're going to slide over here. Salt. The same way. Hello, little crystals. Little diamonds. They're actually a little bit bigger, I think, than their stone in my wife's first wedding band. So that's all right. They're going to ground down nice. 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 All right. Then we're going to slide over here and get some... I'll bust it up some rub this is the uh, garlic herb rub I'm not rubbing it in here more like sprinkling on top you see kind of like like dust all right that's all right we can use a lot we got two pounds we're going to cover up here no problem at all then we got the barbecue rub great stuff <laughs> Woo -hoo, just a little bit all right now I don't know if you can see this or not but it's nice and covered only on one side. This is the fun part of making hamburgers the Anderson way because we get dirty. But first, before we do this, we gotta finish our tasty beverage. Which isn't the first one I've had. All right, time to get dirty. This is the fun part. This is a fun part, I love it. Mix it in there. It also helps, I'll tell you, if you let the meat sit out for a couple of hours to kind of get to room temperature. If you pull the chub straight out of the refrigerator, it's a little cold. And it doesn't really matter how long you have your hands in here, they never get really acclimated to it. I've learned by experience and left mine out. All right. Nice, good massage. Get all those good tasty herbs. Oh, that salt and that good pepper, that barbecue seasoning. Get it all in there mushed up really, really good. This is good stuff. I promise you're going to like it. All right. And... I got it right here, see? I will say that yes, I did wash my hands before I began. So if there was anyone who was particularly curious about how dirty my hands were, they weren't dirty at all. One step, a very critical step that I did forget, was spraying my hands with Pam nonstick spray before I began. That will keep this from happening. Now, I don't know if you've ever had to get 80-20 ground chuck off of your hands before after you've massaged herbs and spices into it. It's not a pleasant thing to do. It's hard. It really is. I love, thank God, I'm not a vegan. Oh, I'm so super excited about this. All right. So anyways, I have to go wash my hands. And it might take a little bit. So we're going to continue this video a little bit later after we have these wonderful, tasty hamburger patties patted up and ready to go into the skillet or the oven or the grill. Or I don't really know yet exactly uh, which method of eating or heating I'm going to do before I can eat them. But right now, I'm just excited I finally get to eat something real that didn't come from a fast food restaurant. You have no idea what my life is like, all right? This is going to change my life, and it will change yours too, I promise. All right, drive on. <laughs> 